Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So, if you are new to my channel today, you can click click on the subscription button and click on the bell icon. So, this is my channel. I post videos. I make videos mostly on web related issues, how to make your own website. You can see, you can check out my videos. So, I have a lot of them. So you can see them. So, guys. Today, so I have a video on how to create your own e-commercial website. So you can check the link. You can check the link on the description box below. So today, I'll be teaching you guys how to make your own <coughs> logistics uh, delivery website, or what I call it, a cargo website. So using this fast train team. So if you want to get this for free and um, navigate over to our um where our free team website here you can get any type of thing you want you can check it out so i'll put the link below i'll put the link in i'll put the link uh the link in the description box below so So using this team, I'm going to be teaching you how to customize it using Elementor Pro. And I'm also going to teach you how to change different, you can choose any type of, you can choose, um, you can choose different demo content. So um, we, are going, we are going to be using cargo um, shipment track. We are going to be tracking a, uh, a shipment with this website. So this is another demo. You can check it out. And also customize it. This this um, team uses Elementor Pro, and you can can you probably see how it is right here? It uses Elementor. So I'll be showing you how to get your own Elementor Pro for free. So you can see how much is being purchased, or you can get it for free. So no need of spending. Um, Thirty-nine dollars. You can just get for free for here. So you can see it. This is it here. You can download. You can download the over here. You can check it over here. So I've already downloaded the game. So what we are going to be doing first? We're going to be creating. So we are going to be creating our C panel. If so, we are going to be getting our C panel. If you don't have your own C panel, I think I have a link below where you can get your C panel for zero point twenty one dollar a month. So I start with that. So I already got in my C panel. Um, my website, the domain is still empty for now. So I'm going to be installing WordPress on this domain so i'm going to be installing wordpress on this domain first of all i have to put my uh, make my website secure so you can just do that i just put this domain okay, so i will have to wait for the auto ssl to integrate so, so if we to pause this video now and run the auto SSL so we can start our installation because you can't install your WordPress uh, or secure website. So I'm going to be installing my, I'm going to be running my auto SSL. So it's going to take some time. So I'm going to pause this video and come back when the auto SSL is already done. So, so guys, I will allow the <coughs> The SSL to install properly. So we'll get started. So first of all, I will go and install my WordPress using my cPanel. So if you should try and get your cPanel, if you don't know how or where you can buy your own lasting cPanel, so I will keep the link below so you can get your own cPanel. So I will go by I will go on to install my WordPress using WordPress Manager by Doctor Close. So 
So, if you don't know how to install WordPress, it's very simple and short. All you have to do is come over to this place, check the the version, make sure it is at this point, 10.1. So, I will not be installing it directly to my uh, home directory. So, I'll be creating a home directory. Of using Hugo for this, but if you are installing on your home directory, you don't need to put this in the directory, you don't need to put this, you just have to leave it empty like this. But I'm going to be installing directly to another file in the directory, so I don't want to put it directly to my home directory. So I'm going to be creating where it will be. So I'll be using Cargo. So when you search. Dr. EM platform dot online slash cargo you will get this website but when you go to Dr. EM platform dot online you are going to be going into uh, maybe an empty place like index index so there is a file already here so I'll be creating another file inside it where I will install my WordPress so I will create you come over to this place and put your details. Change this to what you want. Change it to what you want. But because it is for, because I'm using it for, for my lesson, I'll just leave it at my blog. And this WordPress, my WordPress blog, I'll also leave it here. So, admin, I'll be using this as my admin user so you can change it if you want. So, yeah, I'll create my own uh, password. Is up to 70. So, so put in your credentials, put in the mail users. I'm going to be putting support in online. So, just like that, you don't need to put select or use any other thing again. So, all you have to do is I will select the mail, I'll be sending this login, all this, uh, the WordPress credentials. To. So, I'll click on install and apply it. So guys, the installation is completed. So can can check out the website from here. I'll be logging into the into the WordPress. So this is my WordPress dashboard. I am done with the installation. So when you check this, you will see it give you this. So this is my WordPress installation. So what I'm going to be doing right now is we are going to be I don't need some don't need the already I don't need some of the things inside the WordPress so I'm going to be removing them so I don't need this to remove it so click on move don't need them so I'll go over to my pages I want to put this on. don't need them to so I'm going to be Using a clean WordPress page for the installation. So, when you come to the plugins, as you need this, I need this, and I, will, I might actually need this, but that's is all I could do for. So, I'll be importing my team. I've already downloaded the team from time, so I'll be importing it now. So I have my theme over here. So I'll just select it and click on upload. So I'll wait for it. So guys, I'm done uploading the theme, the uh, WordPress dashboard. So what we'll do now is we'll go over to activating the theme. So the theme is already here. So this is the one in use already. So they have this home page. You have this home page. If you went, if you go to the home page, this one was the home page. So that's it. So now we are going to be changing it. So we are going to be activating this theme and install the demo data. So I click on activate. 
So guys, the the team is activated. So we are going to be installing all this the plugins it came with. So this is automatic. You don't need to manually import or install any plugins. So you just click on begin installing plugins. So you click over here, click here, click on install, click on apply. It's going to install all the teams. So we'll wait for it to install the team. So, so don't forget that you can you can come over to our channel and check out more videos we've made on how to create how to create your own car rental website in minis WordPress with Elementor. So guys, I have other videos to have a new video how to create a cryptocurrency investment website with user and I have the source code here. So you can check out our shorts. So I have shorts that can interest you. So you can master how to code with your cell phone. Yeah, so go over to where we are. So wait for it to install. So the things are getting installed. So this process may take a while on some host to patient. So we are going to be patient. Other tracking. This can use it to add your tracking. This thing it has its own zone. So we have it here. So I think we have up to seven minutes for the last one to get installed. So I'm done with my plugins installation, so I'm going to be activating them. I'll move over to this place, click on. I'll be doing everything very fast, so click on right, so everything will be installed and activated. Move over to where right, or um, importing our demo data. So everything is already in. So once you move over to the dashboard, you will see that the plugins have been activated successfully. So it will direct you to Elementor, but no, we are not doing this now. Uh, we're going to be coming back to our, our dashboard. So over to this place. So we can import our demo data. So you come to appearance and come over to Teams River Import. So over here we are going to be importing our demo data. So this thing came uh, came with already made uh, templates. So just one step, one click install. Everything is. So guys, I'm done importing the demo data. So when you click this place, I think there are some other things I need to do to get my perfect the perfect home I want for my this but so you can also change this loader, this preloader here. So or you can keep it if you want. So anyhow you want. So you can edit this website using Elementor. So you can see this is <clears throat> this is the website. So it's done. So this is just the demo data. If you you can change the write-ups, you can change the write-ups here. You can come to this place and change the write-ups. Right of you, most of the things you want to change, like some of the things that are not written in English, so you can change them to what you 
Jadi dia mau kontak so, check it out. So I can check out the demos that they have here. I have a lot of demos here. It's different, different demos. And then you can then let's create um our first let's create our first menu. So I'll come to nice so, create my menu. So I'm going to be checking if I can actually use the the other tracking plugin for tracking, or I will import my own data. So I'm not actually going to be using. This because I've not used it before, so I'm actually going to download another plugin which I can use for my tracking. So I can come to plugins and download it. So if most of the things doesn't come with um a good tracking plugin, so I, I normally use a personal plugin. So I normally use a, an external plugin. So Come to here. Come to the cargo. Going to be installing this first plugin. So you click on install now. So yeah. So I'll click on activate so that the page can appear when I'm creating my um, menu. So come to this. So come to menu. So create a new menu. Name it new. So we'll make it the main menu. Just one click this. Click next. Going to be adding items. So um, I have different home. I don't actually know the home this is. So I'm actually going to use first home. That is, I think the home one. I'm going to use home one. Create for that is what I did. I'm going to it now. So, guys, um, I'll be I'm still adding my menu to. So. This is currently our menu. So, so this is back. So I can add it like from this from that page. So here I will be setting up a track so that I will be able to track my own shipment. So publish. So now, as this page is now, when you refresh it. Cannot see the menu up there, so you can change this home page to any of the most love and switch home page to so, me page. So and see what I'm talking about. So when you want to change um the home page to another site, like, so if you come to this page just now. You find out that comes with came with different home pages. Came with different home pages. So I'm going to be trying another uh, another look my uh, home page. So check it out. So to change your design, hmm, come to your settings. Go to reading. So you see, so your home page displays a static page. So using page one. 
I'll go over here and check out another page. It has page two. I'll check out how page two is. So, save it. When you go to your blog, when you go to your home page, see that it has different design. When I use different design. So, it's another one. It's another type of home page. I seen it, but this this wasn't the first one we are using. It's actually fine too. You can actually use the front, and you can come to edit with Elementor and that way. So, so you can check out that home page again. Maybe page. Let's check out. We have this one. So this is page three. How page three is. It comes with different pages. So this is how. So you can go back to your home page. This is here. So you can edit this with element of edit element of. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, don't forget to click on the subscription button so you can get our latest updates. Yes, yeah, so you can get our latest uh, new videos or that I'll post so um so you can see this and edit whatsoever you want from here by just clicking on it so this is here. So let's check out the how the uh, tracking plugin how you can set up your tracking and start back to look at how the phone has the cargo so let me whatever I want to do it can put whatever you want to do. So, select the type of tracking you want to move is land, shipping, sea transport, or air flight. So, we yeah. can select, we can add more to this from the cities. So, we will get to you can also edit this this tracking code. Oh, I still need to add that. So, so the application and you add the select the yeah, body shipment with pending pick up on food or actually so the ship. So this is very simple to set up and start using it. You don't need to start paying developers a lot of money to do it for you. Just get in and do whatever you want to do. So I'm going to be checking this. I'm going to be checking what I have set up now. I'm going to be tracking it. So once you give someone your tracking code, you can just over that place, click on track. 
Okay. Code here. Just that. No stress. I can print this out to the seed now. Everything is ready. So don't forget click on the subscription button and don't forget if you need if you have any problem installing the team and message me at or you can click on the uh, message me on YouTube and anywhere or respond fast. So thank you very much for being with me throughout the video. Don't forget to come to our channel and subscribe and click on the subscription button and see more videos that you can watch. So thank you very much.